Hi, I'm Mark Stokes and I'm the physiotherapist. My thoughts on recovery, again the science behind this shows us that there's a group of physical components that we can work on and they are small little 1% improvements that we can try and do and there are large chunks of improvement that can be done by simply getting the right amount of sleep, getting the right nutrition and getting the right hydration. So if I assume that those things are getting done, they're your priority for recovery. My experience and my opinion is that some of the simple things that we can do are the most important and the order of, of importance that I've worked out for myself and for athletes that I've dealt with is make sure you're getting the right sleep. Right sleep is two things, it's the quality of the sleep, so it's make sure that you are getting good sleep, but it's also the, the volume of the sleep. Um, the general rule of thumb is eight hours, and if you're not getting that, then you're not getting enough. Um, the general rule of thumb is if you're getting more, more than 10 to 12, it's too much. So the sweet spot is somewhere between eight and 10. The quality of your sleep is important because at night we tend to flush and drain the brain of all its waste products. It doesn't have as good a return system like our lymphatic system in the rest of the body. So sleep is the, the time that the brain clears itself. So you get that clear headedness in the morning. You probably know yourself if you haven't slept well, you wake up all foggy and there's good reason for that. If you accumulate that not enough time for that waste products in your brain to get out and the cells in your brain stop working as effectively, Accumulation over a period of time can really be detrimental to your performance training and to your performance um, competing. So sleep becomes very important. That's the main one. Second one is the appropriate nutrition. My take is um, get the right advice first, but make sure you are eating and, and getting the right proportions of protein and carbs into your body after training and after competing. And the other part of that is make sure that you're getting your hydration right. Now, make sure that you're regularly drinking enough water to cover the extra training that you're doing.